Hello, affiliates. Jay Todd here at the ICE conference in London. I've caught up with Stuart Hunter, who is the managing director of events for Clarion Gaming. Okay. Yes? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Hey, nice to see you. Uh, nice to be here. You know, a uh, long flight across, but we always enjoy coming here. This really is the place where the entire industry, not just online, not just land-based, but the entire industry comes together for this show. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And, you know, it's the, it's the 86th year that this show in its various forms has been in London. So it's evolved and grown over all that period of time. And I think now, as you see it, uh, it really is a truly global show. We get attendance today from over 170 different countries. And we're expecting over 20,000 guests today, I would say, and then probably up to 45, 50 for after the duration of the show. So everybody's here that needs to be here, definitely. That's a lot of people. There are some cities that aren't that big. But... I mean, it's not just about the show and walking around looking at booths, right? You guys have uh, sessions and education. You have the Vox that goes on. Um, and you have things like Fast Forward, which is uh, extremely fascinating, even from an affiliate perspective. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we cater, well, we try to cater for every particular pocket of the industry, every sector, every geography. So we try and do that with a variety of different ways. So through the trade show floor, there's close to, if you include IGB affiliate, there's close to 850 brands that are pre representing themselves here with a huge volume of products and services. Loads of uh, new to market exclusives as well. So really, it's where a lot of products get launched at ICE. On top of that, as you mentioned, a lot of education with ICE Fox. We had the International Casino conference yesterday and the world regulatory briefing today we've got master classes we've got round tables uh, tomorrow it continues we've got indian gaming uh, association meeting from a tribal perspective so it's a huge amount of subject matter covered this week um, and then outside of that on the show floor there's consumer protection zone which is huge and that really focuses everything around player safety and around positive progressive play fast forward you mentioned which really is a, a kind of focus on everything future facing for the gaming industry. So right from kind of tech, emerging tech and startups, right through to DE and I, uh, gosh, right through to everything from an ESG perspective. So if you are in gaming, and it doesn't matter where you live in the country or in the, in the world, I should say, you should get yourself to ICE and engage and really kind of learn and experience and meet. You know, that's what we do. Yeah, I can see why you're in uh, public relations, sir. That's, uh, that's a great answer. I was going to follow up on that consumer protection zone because something that is uh, very much concerning to affiliates these days is uh, uh, affiliate prote uh, sorry for uh, player protection. And the, uh, there's a lot of talk about that in the UK, especially with know your, know your customer things. Um, but your expectations from this event, I mean, you've got so much going on here, and it's huge. I mean, with 40,000 people, there's, there's always something happening. What is, is Clarion, what, what is Clarion's expectations from this show and how that would relate to an affiliate? I think from, from our perspective, you know, there is a huge amount happening, as you say, and everybody comes here with a, a different set of objectives. What we try and do in the year that runs in between putting on the show is really better understand all our customers from the exhibitor side, the sell side, through the buy side, through to affiliates. The more we understand what their needs are, the better we can cater to those. So we have a, a you know, we have a modest sized team, but everyone works long hours to really kind of better understand that industry. Uh, and I then, then I think what we hope to create this week with what we've put on is a place, a platform, a moment, a series of, of small events on top of the main things that we do where whichever sector you're in, you feel like you're getting some value. From affiliate perspective, we run IGB Affiliate, which opens tomorrow. That's a pure play, pure play dedicated platform for affiliates in iGaming. Um, so yeah, there's, like I said, there's a huge amount of coverage from all those sectors and we're just, just enthused to see everybody here today and you know, business getting done, which is great. Yeah, and if an affiliate needed another reason to come, I mean, God knows we've given you enough, but uh, your next opportunity will not actually be in London. If you couldn't make it to this show, you've missed the, uh, at least for the foreseeable future, the last show in London for ICE and IGBA. You guys are moving to a new location in 2025, correct? 
That is correct. And as I said, you know, this is the 86th year of, of ICE in its various forms. And I think 2017 was the year where IGB affiliate came and joined forces with the event. So it's been growing ever since. And as you can see from the show today, you know, we are absolutely at capacity in this space. Been looking at it and, and chatting a lot to our exhibitors and component parts for the last few years. And it definitely feels the right time for the show to evolve. You know, the industry is growing, the industry is evolving. ICE is a representation of that globally. So it's the right step to, to make that transition. And Barcelona is a great new city for us, a great new partner. The venue is scalable. It's about twice the size here of London XL, which is enormous. Um, so not su suggesting we're using all that space straight away, but it's a, at least allowing our customers the opportunity to flex. You know, a lot of the big brands, certainly that were historically in the kind of land based sector, some of the big brands that everyone knows, they're much more omni-channel than they used to be. So they want a, a kind of much more of a varied um, platform to present all the new products and services that they offer. So Barcelona is going to allow us to do that. Um, and I think a relationship with the city of Barcelona is a new thing for us, not just a relationship with the venue. So we're going to create a festivalization of the ICE experience for all affiliates, for all iGaming, land-based attendees, payments, doesn't matter what sector you're in. We're going to kind of create a different and a new type of experience. And as much as we love this week, it's going to be a great send off for London. We are secretly totally excited about Barcelona next year. The term that caught my attention was festivalization. Is that correct? Do you know what? It's been a, it's, festivalization has been a bit of a buzzword around the live event space since COVID, right? So COVID, everyone locked themselves away, hit the Zoom calls and Teams, and thankfully the world has woken up after that as best they could and wanted to get out face to face. You cannot be face to face. But from a live events perspective, I, I think we feel like a duty of responsibility to enhance that experience from a live, just to make it feel like it's worth it for people jumping on a plane and coming out of, and certainly after COVID that year where, where there were still plenty of restrictions with masks and all those things, how can we elevate that experience? How can we develop and improve connect, connections at shows? So all of the science behind it is going on in the background. Our new app this year is testament to that. You can now pre-book meetings. We've had about 8,000 meetings already pre-booked through, through the app this year. So the tech's there. But in terms of festivalization, it's a bad experience. Everyone spends a lot of money coming to these shows, flights, time, and we appreciate that investment. So the least we can do is enhance that experience. So if you're coming to the airport in Barcelona, you will have a touch point that we've never been able to create in London. You will have a feeling of ice. You'll come to the show. There'll be huge experiences in and around the venue complex, not just inside. When you're in the city of Barcelona, in the streets, in the restaurants, there'll be touch points for the show. So you'll really feel like ice and IGB affiliate has taken over Barcelona. That's definitely our aim. I know I'm promising big things, but if we get anywhere close, it'll be a good result. You know, man, I've been coming to this show for over a decade, and I'll be damned if you don't have me excited for the next one. More excited than I think I've been in a long time. Stuart, thank you so much for coming on. Real quick on our way out, give me a date for Barcelona. Oh, gosh, you put me on the spot here. 20, 20th to the 22nd of January. So it's a little earlier than normal, um, and that's just to do with the, the availability of the space in, in Barcelona. But a couple of weeks earlier, but we're looking forward to it. You heard him, January 2025. Thank you so much, Stuart. Appreciate it.